This module will cover image pipeline and optimization for the Lepton microthermal camera. FLIR.com forward slash Lepton integration is the best resource to get started with Lepton. It includes guides, reference designs, software, application notes, and videos to help demonstrate how to access streaming data. Developers integrate on Raspberry Pi with Windows. Generally, Raspberry Pi is used for a Linux or processor-based implementation. Use Windows for testing, paired with the Pure Thermal Board, offered by GroupGets. The Lepton user app is the standard application to use on the Windows platform, paired with the Pure Thermal Board, since it has a very specific electrical interface. It's best to use a board like this that has a standard USB output that can stream over UVC to simplify the process of capturing data and sending commands to the camera. The video output of Lepton has multiple formats and can come from different parts of the video pipeline. Lepton 2.5 and 3.5 are radiometric. When necessary, radiometry can be disabled. When it is disabled, the camera output is not necessarily linearly proportional to the output temperature because it's dependent on the temperature of the camera. When radiometry is enabled, the T-stable output stabilizes the output of the camera. When T-linear is enabled, which is by default, the output of the 16-bit interface is linearly proportional to scene temperature. If radiometry, or temperature, is a requirement, use the T-linear output. T-stable output can also be used, but an additional conversion will be necessary to get the temperature output. The 8-bit interface, or AGC interface, is generally used when radiometry is not a factor. If the AGC is done on the camera, the post-AGC RGB888 output comes from the camera. Use it for designs that do not require radiometry and only need to display contrast in the scene. Only one video output is available from the camera, so if both temperature data and high contrast video are required, AGC will be done by the integrator's platform. Teledyne FLIR can help provide advice for this type of image processing, but ultimately it will require implementation by the integrator. Here's how this works with a hot cup and cold bottle. The cup shows up in the thermal image as white, while the bottle is black. That's generally how the palette displays, white hot and black cold. The palette can be reversed or colorized. On the lower graph, in yellow and black, the 14-bit output space ranges from 0 to a little over 16,000. Everything in yellow is data that's visible. There's some background data that's middle gray or a shade in between the hot and the cold. The major peaks correspond to the different parts of the images and numbers. To transform the previous graph to something in the 8-bit space, make sure to use the 8-bit space optimally. That's where the AGC comes in. The Teledyne FLIR AGC is called a Plateau Histogram AGC. Integrators often develop additional AGC modules when further processing is required beyond what a Plateau Histogram AGC provides. The simplest method is to do a linear transformation. Take the total span of the data available in the 16-bit space, which could be a few thousand counts, and do a linear transformation to the 8-bit space, cutting out space not used in the 14-bit space. Plateau Histogram Equalization optimizes contrast and makes it possible to limit how much certain objects contribute to histograms in the 8-bit space. The Plateau Histogram Equalization produces a clearer image than standard linear AGC. Generally, this produces significantly more contrast by removing data that's not needed. Achieve equalization by using as much of the bit space destination as effectively as possible. This essentially levels out the population of each pixel intensity, rather than having massive peaks. Make sure to use each shade equally to represent as much of the data as possible. It's not necessary to create a custom Plateau Histogram AGC if radiometric data is not required. The signal straight from the Lepton RGB output will suffice. Customizing an AGC can be a time-consuming process and it will take up hardware bandwidth. Teledyne FLIR can provide a basic working example of a Plateau Histogram AGC, 
but it will need optimizing by the integrator to meet adequate standards. For further questions or support, please go to www.fleer.custhelp.com to connect with our support agents, as well as our applications engineers. Additional integration resources can be found at fleer.com forward slash lepton integration. Thank you for your time.